Hey guys, Satamba Lakeri from LD Lifestyle. Uh, very excited about today's topic. Um, so, let's get into it. So, yesterday's post was about uh, DR, diastasis recti. So, diastasis just literally means separation. So, the diastasis recti, you have to uh, remember these recti muscles are the ones that form the six ab muscles, these this front muscles. So, diastasis recti just means separation of those recti muscles. That's it. Today we're going to look at um, the things that we do that put our bodies at risk of having it, the life habits, the, um, the things that make your week, the core weak and therefore put you at risk, the practices that have been, um, you know, um, propagated among women that make this worse, uh, our postures, and the most important bit, how to check for diastasis using your finger, the size of the separation, uh, if you're triviary or not. Okay, so let's start off with uh, the, what put your body at risk of uh, having a diastasis. The entire risk of getting this diastasis hinges upon how weak or strong your core is. So if you have a weak core or weak core muscles, then you are at a higher risk of getting this. So the, all the things that you do in your life that then make your core weaker predispose you to getting a diastasis when you get pregnant. All the things you do to make your core stronger prevent you getting you from getting a diastasis. That's the entire background of this. We call strong core pregnant. Because when you get pregnant, it is a must. The muscles have to expand with a growing pregnancy. They'll get loose. So if your core is strong to begin with, that separation won't be too apparent or too deep or too, uh, not too wide. And if your core before pregnancy was weak, uh, added on to the growing pregnancy, all that works to get you know that separation increasing. So it's about having a weak core or having a strong core. So let's look at the things that people do that make their core weak. First, it's posture. Our posture is so bad. Our posture is so bad in day-to-day -day life. So we slouch, we slouch a lot. We sit like this. The entire, all the pressure from our body is all here like this. Uh, we, we bend at the waist and we slouch like this. Even when we pick up things, we bend at the waist like this. You come and then pick things up. Okay, which is wrong. Having a good posture, I keep repeating this, doesn't mean sitting up straight in a steep position the entire day. You know, you just you can't even turn. You know. It's always using your joints. So rather than bending here at the waist, bend at the hips and keep the back straight. When you're seated, try and remain, have these core muscles intact and not loosened out and then, you know, keep them firm. So posture constipation. <laughs> so when you're constantly constipated, constantly, like it's your normal state, every single time you're constipated, Every single time you do a bowel movement in the toilet, you struggle and then you sort of keep doing that intravenous pressure when you're trying to release. You keep having that your entire adulthood life. That is just too much pressure for your for abdomen. So try and eat well. Try and eat as well as you can. Keep active because all that comes together to ease your bowel movement. When you go to the toilet, it just comes out all very fast without that uh, pressure we add to the core. The thing that women do a lot is this habit of saying, I'm going to have all my kids all at once, repeated pregnancies all at once. When I'm done is when I'll go and work on my core or my uh, muscles. That's always a problem. Rather than do that, work up on your core after each pregnancy, or even better before pregnancy. So it's about this post isn't about women who have given birth only. It's about anyone preparing for pregnancy, all those who are on their first, second, third, and they're thinking, let me first finish all my kids and then you know work on my core. No, work on your core muscles after each child. Strengthen your core muscles back, not even back, even stronger to what they were previously, and then get ready for the next pregnancy. Okay, so the things we do in life most of the times are quite simply under training. So you don't train, you're not, you're not active at all. So add it on to having a high fat percentage of being obese, all that comes together. Then add in a poor posture, 
are doing uh, uh, the, the, the fact that you're now pregnant, all that sort of comes together. It's not like one thing. Everything comes together and keeps adding the risk, increasing the risk of you getting the diastasis. So you have a poor posture, okay? You don't train at all, you don't eat well, you're always constipated because of the junk you eat. And then when finally you get pregnant or you and you're obese, the separation of muscles is is a lot. And let's now talk about how to check for diastasis right now at home. Okay. And how you what you do when you feel one. We make use our fingers. So I hope this is clear. Okay, so you're going to lie down wherever you are at home right now. Lie down, get let's get comfortable. Okay, you're going to fold your knees as you see there. So at this point right now, my back is arched or act or arched, whatever you want to call it, upward. There's space. So now I'm going to tilt my hips, not my butt, tilt the hips upward so that my back and spine are straight on the ground. Then I'm going to curve my chest and neck to look up towards my knees. So at this point, that pressure on your abdomen is increased and then you start searching for a diastasis. Use your finger to palpate gently um, above the navel, then all the way down below your navel to feel anything like a gap. So when you don't have a diastasis, it feels like rubbery. It feels like you're touching rubber. There's muscle there. When you have a diastasis, it feels like a hole. It feels like your finger is sinking in. Now, how you measure is if a finger can fit into that hole or half a finger or both fingers, that's how you know I'm like one finger wide or two fingers wide of this diastasis. That's how you check. Make sure you check all the way from up from the navel, up above the navel, towards the navel and below the navel on that linear alba line that you know that forms when you're pregnant, that duck line. Please check and get to know today. Remember, as ALT Lifestyle, we have we provide a package for DR uh, patients and for both preventative and healing. So you can train your body, your core to be strong before you give back or carry a pregnancy to term. Or you can, if you have a DR, train or lose core after giving back, you can train it back to firmness. So like and share and comment, ask questions, and most importantly, improve your life.